Hey everybody, it's Brad. Uh, today we're going to be doing a viewer mailbag special. Um, I'm going to answer a question that somebody has asked me. Uh, I'll make a video answering them. So, let's check the mailbag. Uh, this question is from Tanya Rodriguez uh, to Brad Martin. Hello Brad. First of all, I love the videos you have on YouTube. Thank you. I've seen them all. Thank you. When I purchased my Lissimo Gold last July, I had no idea about digitizing, but I just fell in love with it. I just got Masterworks 3 a couple of days ago and was wondering if you could do a tutorial on split designs. Something like these. And she sent me a link here, so let's take a look. Ah, uh, yes. Split embroidery designs. We can do this pretty easily in Masterworks. Alright, Tanya. Get ready. I'm about to answer your question. So the first thing we're going to need to do these split embroidery designs is we're going to need to work some uh, work with some vector art. Um, luckily, um, it, Masterworks comes with some uh, pre-made artwork that's perfect for this. So I'm going to go into my artwork tab here, and uh, I'm going to choose custom shape. And any of these shapes would be a base that's going to work well for this technique. Um, I'm going to start with something very simple. Uh, I'll just do I'll do a heart. Like I said, any of these will work, though. So you want to set this to the size that you want your eventual design to be at. Looking at this, it's a little over 4 by 4, which is fine. Um, so we're going to do that. Uh, and then we need to decide how much of this is going to be split off. Um, I'm just going to do a little over an inch or so. Uh, and what we want is to have a... Uh, we're going to put a rectangle all over top of this heart. So we're going to go back to the artwork, choose the rectangle shape, and I'm just going to click and drag a rectangle... Um, and let's see, this is a little over an inch, so that should be good. And we'll let that go in there like that. Okay, so we've got our two basic shapes made. Uh, we now need to uh, go in and combine these shapes in a, in a certain way. Uh, and what we're going to use is our transform artwork tools to do this. So I'm going to select this whole area here. I could also have clicked on all items or hit Control A. Uh, it would also have worked. And I'm going to move my mouse so that it becomes a hand over one of these lines. It's not going to work unless the mouse is a hand. Mouse is a hand, right click, go down to transform artwork, and we're going to choose clip. Okay, now just looking at this you can see that these lines are gone and if we click and drag we can see, look, this is its own piece now, and this is its own piece now, and the piece in the middle is its own piece now. So let's look back at um, what the, some of the previews were of what uh, the specific designs she was asking me about are. If we look at the majority of these, they've got a line running here, a line running here, and it splits the design in two. And you can hear the drill from my mechanic in the background there. Just ignore that. It's fine. Uh, we've got... Um, most of these look like they're appliques, so let's make this an applique design. Um, and we're going to go in... Let's see, where's my masterworks? There we go. So what we want to do is we're going to need to make it so that the bottom of this top of the heart here does not have this line here. We're going to do the same thing with the top of the bottom of the heart here. We're going to get rid of that line. And we are also going to get rid of the lines between here and here. And the way we're going to do that is uh, using the reform tool. I'm going to go ahead and uh, select the top of my heart. Go to my reform tool and just select it at the top. You don't pick one of the options underneath. You just click right on the, the graphic of it. And what comes up are these little dots here. And the dots we want to get rid of are going to be here and here. We want to split these off. So first you go to, I'm going to go to the one on the left. Right click it. Choose split line. Go over to the one on the right. Right click it. Choose split line. And what we now have is a top and bottom didn't work. Okay, I must have uh, missed one of them. Let's try again. Right click, split line. Oh, it yeah, so it didn't take the, the first one. So if it for some reason misses, um, I, I may have been clicking in the wrong place or something. Um, but, but all you really should have to do is right click on the first one, right click on the second one, uh, choose split line under both, and what you'll end up with is two separate pieces. Okay, so we want to get rid of that line that we split off. I'm just going to hit the delete key, and it'll be gone. Then I'm going to go down to the bottom part of my heart, choose the reform tool again, right click and split, right click and split. Okay, now that part is gone. I just hit the delete key to get rid of it. We're going to do the same thing for our rectangle. Go back to reform, right click here and split, right click here and split. That makes this its own piece. We're going to do the same thing over here, right click, split, 
right click, split. Okay, so now these should all be four independent pieces. We get rid of that one and left click on this one here, delete that. And now we have the base for our design. We're pretty much close to being done here. We're gonna take the top of the heart, apply stitches and make it an applique. Now right here we see a little bit of def deformation has happened in our stitching. Um, and if you get this, you wanna look at it and make sure that your stitches aren't doing something crazy. Uh, what you can do is actually use the reform tool and slightly nudge the heart and see how that made it recalculate the stitches and, and made it better. So if you ever have like a weird spot on a corner like that, you just move the, the shape a little bit and it should fix it for you. So we've got an applique here. We'll do the same thing on the bottom, apply stitches, applique, good. And then we'll make this one a satin stitch, apply stitches, satin, and apply stitches, satin. Okay, so now we've got our shape here and we want to put some text in between. So we choose our text tool and we'll pick you know a font that we like maybe i'm making this for my daughter so i'll put meadow hit apply and we'll just move that in there and that overlaps a little bit but that's okay um and then uh that's it that's 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 done so that's how you make a split design uh, in a nutshell. You could also do this uh, exact same thing if you wanted to do it with lettering instead of a shape in the background. We would use the import TTF artwork function over here. So say I wanted to have a capital letter M instead of a heart. I just put in a capital letter M. I would size it to the size that I want. Bring my rectangle in, split all the lines, and I would be doing the exact same thing. So you can do it with any kind of shape that you can draw or any of the shapes that are built into the software. Um, and then if you want to preview uh, what this applique is going to look like, we can pick the section, go down to applique fabric, and we'll pick one of these fabrics here. And that's what it'll look like when it's sewn out. So there you go, Tanya. Uh, I hope this helped you, and I'll see you guys in the next video.